everyone namaste and welcome to this pranayam yoga session with me avinash today we will be going forward with multiple different breathings which will allow us to work on the health and the capacity of our breathing so it'll help us to improve that as well as before we start with the pranayam practice we will go with some of the stretches some of the asanas which will allow us to open up the body a little bit which will allow us to free the spine a little so when we are seated into the practice of pranayam it will be easier for us to work through that practice all right now without any further delay let's get started with our centering please keep the back straight shoulders relaxed hands in chin mudra eyes closed and just start to focus on the rhythm of your breath take long inhalations and slow exhalations now Exhale. complete body and see how you feeling with the body today once you're done with the observation let us join the hands to the heart center start with three omkaras together Slowly start to bring your palms, generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles, and then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks, looking into your palms. Wonderful, perfect. So now let's get started with our uh, stretches, our warm-ups. First things first let's uh, come into a tabletop position keeping the shoulders exactly over the wrist knees underneath your hips palms shoulder distance apart knees hip distance apart and we'll start with the cat and cow pose from here so with inhalation very slowly start to arch from the back and try to look forward slightly up exhale hunch from the back inhale arch Exhale, hunch. Three. Inhale, arch. Exhale, hunch. Four. Arch. Exhale, hunch. One more time. Arch. Exhale, hunch. And slowly come to a neutral spine. Going further from there. Now. in the same place inhale and then very slowly arch take the right uh, left leg up 
first and catch hold with your right palm and then very slowly relax change right leg up and arch and slowly down change left leg up down change right leg up and down keep moving left leg up down change right leg up and down change left leg up down change right leg up down one last time change left leg up down change right leg up and down wonderful slowly keeping the knees down now from here let's uh, go ahead with a thread and needle pose so from here very slowly raise the right hand up from the right side as you exhale twist and bring the right shoulder down towards the left side inhale come up once again with the hand two twist inhale up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist one more time inhale up exhale twist and slowly bring the hand down let's change left hand up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist inhale up exhale twist one more time inhale up exhale twist awesome slowly bring the hand back and back to the table top position now going for the next one very slowly turn your toes in lift your knees off the floor going into a mountain position from here we'll start with the pedaling so for that bend one of the knee keep the other straight feel a stretch coming from the leg which is straight and then change okay so with the medium pace we keep on changing the legs like this for about 10 counts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 very slowly bring the knees down and sit back into vajrasan awesome now from vajrasan you can either come into sukhasan or stay into vajrasan whatever is comfortable for you you can be into sukhasan for slightly more comfort and once you're here now let's get started with the practice of pranayam all right so today we are starting first with kapal bhati but alternate nostril kapal bhati so how we have to move into it is the regular kapal bhati which you do is done from the both the nostril with the abdomen going in at the same time of the exhalation what we are doing here is we are taking our both the first two fingers in the, from the right hand we close one of the nostril first let it be right and then you exhale from the left change 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 like this all right so we will be going with alternate nostril kapal bhati throughout the practice remember two things try to go with medium forced strokes for the breath and keep the back straight also the eyes closed during the practice of it okay once we're done with the sets we're going with two sets of this once we are done with two sets then we will open the eyes after that okay first thing take the 
First two fingers in of the right hand. Close your right nostril with the thumb. Breathe in to start with. And start. Make sure to keep changing the nostril. Sure your back is still straight. Let's get started with the second set. Once again, close your nostril. Inhale to start with. And start. Back to the conscious breath. And then very slowly, open your eyes with a few blinks. Wonderful. Perfect. Now let's move ahead with our next breathing. So the next breathing which we are doing is just a simple abdominal breathing. Now what do I mean by abdominal breathing is when we inhale, we tend to move our abdomen slightly out. We expand the abdomen and when we exhale, we contract the abdomen or let it come to its place naturally. We don't do it intentionally. Naturally, that is the moment it should be. And what we are doing is, right now we're just focusing intentionally on the abdominal movement. While inhaling, we try to expand it. And while exhaling, we try to contract it or bring it back to its natural place, okay? So just make sure that your complete focus is towards the abdomen and towards the breath. Try not to focus on your thoracic region. Eventually, there will be a movement automatically coming from the shoulders or from the thoracic region but just focusing only on the abdominal region breathing here okay try to focus on the abdomen so let's keep the palms either on the knees or hands in chin mudra here you can close your eyes and inhale you can if you want you can keep one of the palm on the abdomen just to understand the movement better that how much when you're inhaling, you're able to expand and how much you're able to contract, okay? So one palm on the abdomen if needed, if you feel comfortable with that. Inhale and start to expand the abdomen. Exhale. 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I hope you were able to focus majorly on the abdominal region and you had a synchronized movement with the breath throughout the practice of abdomen. So now let us move towards our next breathing. The next breathing is going to be Surya Bhedi Pranayam. Surya Bhedi Pranayam is a right nostril breathing. So what do we have to do is we inhale from the right nostril and exhale out the left nostril. Okay, so first things first, we take our right hand up. We take the right hand first, the fingers in, last fingers together. We close the left nostril with the help of the ring finger and then inhale first from the right and then exhale out from the left with eyes closed. You can keep the left palm or left hand in chin mudra, something like this. And let's get started together. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the right nostril. 
inhaled from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. Inhaled from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. Inhale from the right nostril. Exhale from the left. And relax. Just come back to the natural rhythm of your breath for a few seconds. Slowly open your eyes with a few blinks. Perfect. Now let's move ahead with our next breathing. So just now what we did was Surya Bhedi Pranayam. Just to balance that out, we will be going ahead with Chandra Bhedi Pranayam, which is a left nostril breathing. So just the way you are inhaling from the right nostril and exhaling from the left nostril. Now you will be inhaling from the left nostril and exhaling out from the right nostril. Okay, let's bring the hands up. First two fingers in. Close the right nostril first. Once again, your left hand can be in chin mudra. Inhale from the left nostril. Close the left nostril. Exhale out from the right. Inhale from the left. Exhale 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 from the right.
and relax. Back to the natural rhythm of your breath for a few seconds. slowly open your eyes perfect now from here let's lie down on the back very slowly just just yourself on the mat keep your feet apart hands away from the body palms facing up to the ceiling eyes closed once you're done Adjusting yourself comfortably into your Shavasana. Let us go for a humming sound for about three times together. vibrations and the relaxation throughout the body and the mind. slowly come back to your body consciousness sensitize your toes your fingers palms and start to feel your complete body Very slowly bring your feet together. Stretch your both the hands above your head. Interlock your fingers, flip the palms out and start to stretch your complete body. And relax. Very slowly take a turn towards your right side. Keep your left palm in front of your chest as a support. With the support of your left palm, slowly try to come up and sit in any comfortable position. And 
Let us join the hands from the heart center. We'll close the practice with one Om and three Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And slowly start rubbing your palms. And generate a good amount of heat. Make a cup of your palms, place it over your eyes, your facial muscles. And then very slowly open your eyes with a few blinks looking into your palms. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me in this pranayam session today. I hope you're feeling much more fresh, relaxed, and energetic after the session. And I will also be looking for your, forward for your feedback on our Facebook community, Stronger Together with Cult Fit Home. Till then, please take care. This is me, Avinash, signing off for today. For more such workout videos, download the Culfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Cult.